Hey what's going on guys Frosty here and today I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to acquire the deep sight versions of Season of the Plunder or Season 18's weapons so that way you can go ahead and craft them at the Enclave. In case you guys don't know we have 5 brand new weapons, we have the Tarnished Metal Scout Rifle, the Blood Feud Submachine Gun, the Brigand's Law Sidearm, the No Reprieve Shotgun, the Salspy Pitch Glass Linear Fusion Rifle, and lastly a brand new machine gun called Plank Stride. So there's actually four different ways to acquire these deep sight weapons. The most known and probably most accessible way right off the bat is going to be playing the Catch Crash Offensive Activity, which is the new seasonal arena. It is a six man match made activity that also has a master difficulty. So if you just want to jump in and play this activity on normal difficulty, the nice thing is it's match made so you can just pair up with five other people and get this activity done in about 10 minutes. And upon killing the final boss, he'll drop one chest at the end, which obviously has a chance of giving you a deep sight plunder weapon. You can also go ahead and run the new catch crash activity on master difficulty. Keep in mind it will be set to 1600 power, it will be non match made and there will be champions, so it may be a little bit of a push this early on in the season to do this, but if you can manage to put together a good fire team and complete it, it will actually reward you with 3 chests at the end instead of 1 which is basically triple the chance of acquiring one of these new deep sight weapons. Next let's go ahead and talk about the two new currencies that Bungie added in this season that you can find in your consumables page. The first one is called Treasure Coordinates. This is a rare material that can be found by completing strikes, crucible, gambit, and other activities. And the other currency is called Map Fragments. This is another rare material that you can get by completing the Catch Crash activity, which is the thing I just explained. These are the two different types of currencies you need in order to make treasure maps with your Captain's Atlas that you can find in your quest tab. If you don't currently have a Captain's Atlas in your quest tabs, you want to go talk to the Star Chart Navigation Interface in the helm and pick it up. So basically, these treasure maps you can make with your Captain's Atlas allow you to find hidden treasure at the end of expedition missions, which is also another playlist activity you can find under the helm directory. Doing these expedition missions once you built up enough currency on the side with your Captain's Atlas is an excellent way to earn some extra deep sight weapons. Next let's talk about treasure beacons which you can find at the star chart located in the helm aka the new vendor. So basically as you level this vendor up you have access to these things called treasure beacons which are basically riddles that go directly to your quest tab. You just have to figure them out and eventually after about 4-5 to five steps of doing these riddles, it will lead you to a pile of secret treasure located somewhere in the solar system that you can loot. Those chests have a very high weighting of giving you deep sight weapons. So the last and final way to acquire these deep sight weapons is actually through the star chart vendor itself located in the helm. So basically this vendor like all other vendors has a reputation system and this season it's called Savvy. You get this by completing those catch crash and expedition missions. So as you build up reputation with this vendor you level them up just like all previous vendors and every level up you get an engram. These engrams have a chance of being deep sight plunder weapons. Also under the reward system those engrams also have a chance of being deep sight weapons. And lastly also make sure to claim these treasure beacons as these are some of the most valuable things you can do in order to get some deep sight weapons rolling. You can also go ahead and focus these plunder weapons on the second page. It'll cost you an umbral engram, legendary shards, and also plundered umbral energy. And just like with all other seasonal vendors there's a perk tree and this time around it's called the pirate's crew. This is where you can purchase upgrades with a currency called Repute, which you only get from doing your seasonal challenges, so if you haven't been doing those, I would recommend getting on those ASAP. Also keep in mind, just like previous seasons, you only get two of these upgrade currencies a week from your seasonal challenges, so you want to make sure you go ahead and spend them on something that you know you want. So basically, if you don't spend them on the right thing, you have to wait till the next week to earn two more of them. And over time, eventually at the end of the season, if you play through the entire game, you will actually have all of these perk upgrades unlocked. But just keep in mind early on, if you spend it on the wrong thing, you're kind of screwed. So for me personally, I grabbed the first one under Quartermaster and the second one under Swashbuckler. Next week I have my eyes on one under Quartermaster called Focus Weapon Spoils. So it says it grants the ability to decrypt Umbral Engrams into Season of Plunder weapons once they have been added to your collections. It's pretty easy, all you have to do is basically obtain one of those weapons once and then you have the ability to focus them. So basically to sum it up, what you want to do is do these catch crash missions. Once you build up some currency, go ahead and run some of these expedition missions. Once you basically level the vendor up, go ahead and do some of the beacons. And then after that, just go ahead and cash in any currency you have with the vendor. And that's basically it. Those are the best ways to go ahead and acquire the new Season of Plunder Deep Sight weapons. Anyways, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, a like on the video would be greatly appreciated. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Stay frosty.